These five muscles are so underrated, nobody trains them. Some of them are hidden beneath the muscles on the surface. Some of them are simply not too sexy. However, if you actually train them, they would significantly add to your overall physique. The first muscle on the list is called soleus. Soleus is the muscle hidden right beneath your gastronemius. Together these two form something you may know as a calf muscle, however, they have to be trained separately. Gastronemius is trained with your leg fully straight, while your soleus has to be trained with your knees bent. To target your soleus, you can use the machine for seated calf raises, and if you don't have it, you can use the Smith machine, or you can just do it with dumbbells. Having bigger soleus can significantly add size to your calves. Next muscle we have on the list is pectoralis minor. This muscle sits right beneath your visible chest muscle, the so-called pectoralis major. Working this muscle will give you fuller appearance of your chest, or the so-called chesticle. To train it, you'll have to do some sort of reverse shrug. Just put your feet a little up front, keep your arms straight and do these sort of scapula pushes. You will get a very unique pump and your chest will look so much bigger. Vince Jaronda was the old school bodybuilder who made these really popular. Notice how his side part of the chest really pops out. That's because he trained his back minor. The third underrated muscle on the list is tibialis. Ha, you thought we're done with the legs. Not quite. Tibialis is the muscle that sits on the opposite side of your calves. So just like you're gonna train both biceps and triceps, the same thing you should do with calves and tibialis, you should train both sides. You can use the machine if you have it, but since most likely you don't, you can do back to wall tibialis raises or you can improvise with resistance band or even with a dumbbell. And the fourth muscle that we have on the list is serratus anterior. Training this muscle will expand your rib cage, but it really has this cool appearance when you look at it. It gives so much more detail to your mid section. Your serratus actually attaches to your shoulder blade and has a function of stabilizing your scapula. My two favorite exercises to target serratus is using a roller or doing some sort of pullover. The fifth and final muscle we have on the list of underrated muscles is your neck. Nobody trains it, yet it's so easy and so important. You wanna have a strong upper portion of your spine. You don't want your head to look like a lollipop, especially if you have well-built upper body and small neck, it looks funny. All you have to do is a couple of sets of neck extensions and neck flexions. So again, you need to train both sides, right? Give me thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Here's a video where I explained how to train every other muscle group. See you there, bye bye.